Welcome to this video, which is intended for people who have little or no programming experience. In this video, we'll show you how to place and set up a gyro and write a program to make your V5 VEX robot execute a turn. Please note this code will not have a control loop in it. I plan to explain control loops in a future video. And don't forget, it's always good practice to document things in your engineering notebook. The first step of using a gyro is to gyro's placement. You want to place the sensor as close to the center of rotation as possible. If you have a four-wheel drive robot, you'll want the gyro to be centered between the four wheels. And if you have a two-wheel drive robot, you want the sensor to be placed halfway between the two drive wheels. Next, make sure your three-wire extension cable is plugged into the pins so that the black wire is orientated to the outside of the gyro and lined up with the letter B on the gyro board. The robot being used for this demonstration is two-wheel drive. So we'll place the gyro as close to the center between the two wheels as possible. There is a great article about gyros at renegaderobotics.org. You'll find a link to the Google Slides presentation, which was used to make this video in the description of this YouTube video. And you'll be able to access the live links from that slideshow. Be sure to plug the other end of the three-wire extension cable into the three-wire port on the V5 brain. On our demo robot, the A port works the best for our length cable. The three-wire port on the V5 brain needs to be configured. Turn on the V5 brain and make sure the plastic protective shield is removed. Now touch the icon for devices. Next, touch the triangle on the device info screen. Then touch the box for the A port on the three wire port screen and toggle it until it reads analog input. The gyro should now be set up for use. Be sure to check that the green LED is lit up when the V5 brain is on. If you have not already downloaded the VEX coding studio, please go to the link on this slide and download the program. Once you've downloaded it, you can either go to your programs or double click the shortcut on your desktop. Let's start by clicking on the VEX C++ button. Now click choose. Start your robot configuration by dragging a motor onto the workspace. Now click on the motor. Name this LDM for left drive motor. Click on the pound symbol. For this video, we're going to use the configuration for the standard V5 claw bot. So click on port 1 and connect the left drive motor to the brain. If you have your drive motor plugged into a different smart port, simply click on that port number. Now drag over another motor. Click on the motor 2 and change the name to RDM for right drive motor. Click on the pound symbol and select port 10 on the brain to assign the right drive motor to port 10. Click on the settings icon for this motor. Click on the reverse box because forward on the right motor is the mirror image of forward on the left motor. Next drag over a gyro. Click on the triangle. Click on the A port. It's good practice to save your program regularly, so click on the selector triangle. Type in gyro underscore four underscore turn for the program name and click on the save option. Navigate to a location you'd like to save the program and click on the save button. Next, click on the text button. As we start our code for the gyro, first we need to allow it some time to calibrate its position. This usually takes one to two seconds. Make sure you are on the actions menu. Scroll down the menu bar. Now, 
let's enter a double backslash comment that we are pausing for the gyro to calibrate. Next, drag over a task sleep command and edit it to read 1500 milliseconds, which is 1.5 seconds. Next, we want to write some code to print out the gyro's reading. This will let us see what the gyro's reading is at the point we want the robot to turn to. Enter a comment describing what we are doing and then type and enter. Type while. Open parentheses and a one between the parentheses. Open curly bracket. And then enter between the curly brackets. This will create a forever while loop to keep checking the value of the gyro. Drag over a brain screen clear screen command. I like to make the text on the LCD easy to read, so click on the settings menu. Drag over a brain screen set font command and then edit it to mono 40. Click on the actions menu. Drag over a brain screen print at command. Edit it to read column 20, row 80, and gyro. Drag over another brain screen print at command. Edit it to read column 20, row 120, and reading equals percent %f. The percent %f will display the floating point value for the gyro. In order for this program to happen, we need to get the reading from the gyro. So click on the sensing menu, scroll down the menu, type a comma on your command line, drag over a gyro value, rotational units degree command, edit the gyro to read gyro 1 to match the robot configuration menu. As a good practice, we want to write a pause into the while loop to conserve controller resources. So after you have added a comment to explain this, click the action menu, scroll down, and drag over a task sleep command and edit it to read 10. This will complete your code to display the gyro reading on your robot. Now let's download the code and try it out. Be sure you have your USB cord plugged into your V5 brain and your computer. Plus be sure your V5 system is turned on. Now click on the build and download icon. After the green download box appears, you can unplug your USB cable and make your reading. When taking a reading for your gyro, it's a good idea to have a frame of reference to use. For this demonstration, we're going to use the edge of the table. So let's start by pressing the run icon, giving the program a second to calibrate the gyro. And you can see now the gyro is reading around zero. We're going to turn the robot using the edge of the table as a frame of reference, 90 degrees, and we'll see that our reading now is 97.6 degrees. Now we have our gyro reading. It's time to write the code for the turn. I like to write comments into my program to describe what is happening and then fill in the code below the comments. So let's fill in three comments. Start drive motors to turn, pause until gyro reading is reached, and stop drive motors. You may have noticed from the video measuring the gyro's reading that we are writing code for a 90 degree right turn. In order to make this pivot turn, 
the left drive motor needs to move forward and the right drive motor needs to move in reverse. In order to write the code for this, be sure you are in the Actions menu. Scroll down to the motor commands. Drag over a motor spin command with direction and velocity and edit it to read LDM for left drive motor. Drag over another motor spin command with direction type and velocity units. Edit motor to read RDM for right drive motor and forward to REV. It is possible to spin the robot faster than the gyro can update. Our demo robot has three inch wheels. If your robot has larger wheels and you experience issues with the code working, you may want to use velocity units lower than 50 RPMs. In order to have the program pause, we're going to create a conditional while loop instead of an infinite while loop. We will take the gyro reading and have the loop stay true until the reading is less than or equal to 97.6 degrees. In order to do this, be sure you are in the sensing menu. Delete the one after the word while and drag a gyro value rotational units degree command. Edit gyro to read gyro one. After the degree parentheses, type in a less than symbol and an equal symbol and type in 97.6. Please note if we were making a left turn, we would have a reading of negative degrees and we would need a condition of greater than or equal to and have the motor spin in opposite directions. Once the robot reaches a gyro reading of 97.6 degrees, the while statement will no longer be true and the program will move on and we will need to stop the drive motors. In order to do this, make sure you are in the actions menu. Scroll down the menu, drag over a motor stop command, edit the word motor to LDM for left drive motor. For the last command in our program, drag over another motor stop command and edit the word motor to RDM for right drive motor. It would be a good idea to save your program again, so click on the selector triangle and click the save option. Now let's download our program. Now let's test our program. It will be easiest to start the program from our controller once it has been synced to the robot. Click on the right arrow, click on the A button. You should now see gyro for turn on the screen. Press the A button again. Once the word run appears on the screen, you only need to press the A button one more time. As you become more comfortable with programming, I strongly recommend you go to the VEX forum and look at some of the sample code, like this code posted by a very valuable member of the VEX community, James Pearman. It should also be noted, the code in this video is meant for a pivot turn. If you want to use a drag turn, where you only turn on one side of the robot's drive and drag around the other, I would recommend using a motor rotate 4 command. Or if you want an arch turn, I would recommend setting the two sides of your robot to spin at different RPMs with motor spin commands. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. There are many videos of competitions and instructions there. Until next time, Remember, if your head is spinning, take a moment and find your reference point.